Good evening, cadets. This is Lance here from Cinematic Galaxy, and I am going to be watching the new Black Panther trailer and reacting to it and then reviewing it. Um, so, yeah, I know a little bit about, about Black Panther. Obviously, I know how, you know, I know he's the first black superhero, I believe, in comics, uh, created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And aside from that, I haven't read any Black Panther comics. I don't have a lot of um, previous investment in the character. Um, but, you know, before I watch and do my reaction to this trailer, I want to say that as exciting as this is for a lot of us, um, not just black people, but, you know, a bunch of people are excited that we are getting um, a black superhero on film and a big movie coming up. And obviously, I'm thrilled about that as a black man myself, um, that, that's something that's very important to me. And I, you know, I'm going to be happy about that regardless. That being said, um, well, I have a friend, I won't name who it is, but, um, a friend who does trailer reactions on YouTube and movie reviews. And, and, uh, this friend of mine is white and they didn't love the black, the first Black Panther teaser and on their reaction they were attacked and uh called racist and all that stuff for it and it's not you know they didn't hate the teaser but they didn't love it they weren't blown away by it so i just wanted to leave a, a quick message to say let's be better than that you know if you're watching other reactions and you see a movie reviewer who might be black or white or purple whatever um, don't make it a requirement that they love the trailer and that they're going gaga over this movie. I mean, even though this movie is important, even though this movie is going to be big in a lot of ways, it's still a film. You know, it's not, it's not life or death. So let's be classy. Let's be respectful. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't blown away by the first Black Panther trailer. As much as I want to see this film, as much as I want it to be great, as much as I believe it will be great, and I think it will probably be one of the best Marvel films and best superhero films out there. I didn't love the first trailer. I didn't dislike the first trailer. I thought it was perfectly fine, but it didn't blow me away. I mean, I already know I'm seeing this movie, but based on that first trailer, I wasn't floored either. And I'm a black man who obviously has a big investment in what this movie is doing. So again, don't make it about that. You know, understand that it is a film and People who do trailer reactions and people who review content, they're just going to go off their honest reaction. So um, so anyway, brief rant aside, I'm about to watch this trailer in 3, 2, 1, now. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens. I wonder who that is talking drop from the sky yeah but i have never seen anything like this how much more are you hiding oh that was martin freeman talking he does a good american accent we are home chadwick boseman great actor my son lupita nyong'o angela bassish definitely dig the cast to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I was a sister. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Michael Show B. Jordan, playing the villain, Andy Serkis. Beautiful. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens. Whoa. To the rest of the world. I didn't know he was gonna have a costume in this. Stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. What's 
mission will not be televised. Let's have some fun. Ow. The revolution will be live. live, live. Cool. Oh, it comes out in February. I didn't realize it came out that soon. Um, yeah, all right. So I enjoyed that. Um, I thought it was a really good trailer. I thought it was better than that for, than the first teaser. And it's it's just it's such it's so interesting to see. This doesn't really feel like a Marvel film. Um, and yes, I will say some of that is because it it is pretty much an all black cast and you know they don't shy away from the culture that this is representing at all and i think that's cool um i think that's the right move for this film it'll be definitely be interesting to see how it does box office wise um to see who turns out for it um but as far as the story itself the trailer itself um i'm on board i, I want to see this film i'm definitely going to see this film and i don't know a whole ton aside from the obvious things. I don't know a whole ton about the Black Panther character. I know bits and pieces here and there uh, about a suit being made of vibranium, which is the same substance as Captain America's shield. I know that uh, that he's the king of Wakanda, and I know that um, I know what I know about him from Civil War. And I'm not sure if he was in any other Marvel film. I I, I want to say yes, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But Look, I mean, the cast looks great. Uh, the visuals are gorgeous. Um, and I'm interested. I'm interested to hear how the score in the film is, if they incorporate any of the music from the trailer into the film or, or if it'll have a more traditional uh, movie, superhero movie score. I really don't know, but I'm on board. Um, and I'm going to see the film. So let me know what you guys thought of this Black Panther trailer. Anyway, till next time, guys, this is Lance from Cinematic Galaxy signing off.